One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, games that, once again, I didn't get the proper proper ending in the last game I played that goes over into this one because I didn't get the proper canon ending and, and games that are named after things involving trains that actually have trains in them this time. Welcome to another installment of Nano Elite 66 Plays! Choo-choo, motherfuckers, we got a real train this time. I'm your host, Nano Elite 666, and today we are playing, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start some Metro Exodus. That's right, the latest installment of the Metro franchise. Based on the books, this one is once again based directly on a book based on Metro 2035. You see, the first game, 2033, was based on the book of the same name. And then Last Light kind of deviated a bit, but then deviated a bit from the 2034 book, and then there's a 2035 book, and now I think this game is based more on that. So, I haven't read any of the books, so I don't know how much of this deviates. But anyways, we're here, ready to play more post-apocalyptic Russian Metro first-person shootery stuff. This game came out 2018? Or was it 2019? It's very recent. Very recent. It was Epic Store exclusive for a while. Then I got it on Steam. Then I got it on Steam. So, you know. We're playing Metro. It's time to play Metro. I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna play this game. We are going to overwrite this throwaway file I made just for checking things. Train horn. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. 
I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. Oh boy, 7 billion people down to 50,000. Hell of an end of the world war there, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if that's 50,000 all over the world, or just, you know, Russia knows it's got about 50,000 people left, and nobody knows what's going on in the rest of the world. You don't know. Maybe we'll learn by playing this game. It's my old bullet lighter. Burn away all the spider webs. So the other day I was I was just fired this up to uh to, uh, you know, get things set up, make sure I have things set and how it works and make sure it records fine. And I played through the, played through a few minutes of the short little intro bit and I was wandering around with the lighter out, torching spider webs with it. And then I was seeing my breath in front of me here and I was like, oh no, did I accidentally set myself on fire by standing in the flaming spider webs? Wait, no, that's just my breath. Magazine for my shotgun, as opposed to, because I had just like a little two-shot thing. <gasps> All right. Hello, frozen dead train car. Hey, get off me, spider bug! So I'm pretty sure I just heard some creepy laughing. Yes. 
I am hearing creepy laughing. That's not slightly unsettling at all or anything. Nope! That sounds like gunshots. those numbers popping up are. <laughs> Lots of happy fun gunfire sounds. Sir, hello to you too. Uh -oh. What's a book, tab, new note, half torn notebook. August 11th. We've arrived. So far, so good. Just a couple of rats. The guys are unloading the trolley. August 12th. Not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Kolia went to get some more volunteers, but for now, we'll just cover the platform and the airlock. It looks like Mikhailich isn't going to finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted solid. August 13. Shot a couple of watchmen. The beast got inside unnoticed under steps. Cunning fuckers. The airlock drive is dead. They spelled... The they spelled his name wrong between the two. Anyways, Mikhailich says he can't promise anything. We're running short on filters. Time to improvise. I guess we'll just shut, weld the gate shut with a sheet of steel and think later. August 14. There's a stampede of watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still. Kolya brought the welding apparatus, but we can't even start the work. As soon as we make the slightest noise, they start howling up there. For now, we decided to set up some traps. Oh my. All right, I got more ammo. Ooh. Hey, bud, what you doing? Might as well take some more of that ammo. Ding dong, ding dong. Now I'm pretty sure I just walked through fire. Yup, yup. Oh no, I put the fire out. That's okay though, I can start it back up. <laughs> I walked through fire because that corpse was lying on top of it, and I didn't see it there. Silly me. What the hell was that kind of jump? Oh. Hey, that's a big gun. Can I use it? Can I use it? No. Uh-oh. You have a knife in your face. 
Uh oh. Left across the square. Hey, Damir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself. Ah, with my let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? Mm. We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Maybe. And... Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Oh, so I've used up all my respawns. Okay. Sitting here thinking when I was playing through the uh, that intro bit. Just testing things. I remember picking up a, a tape or an audio log somewhere and I was like, Shit, I didn't grab that this time. Teehee. Ooh. Let's read a book. Patient file. Artyom 
Chiornij. Chiornij. Ah, I probably pronounced that hilariously wrong. Born. March 31st, 2009. Blood type. EB4, RH+. Admitted on. Come on, it's the third time. Diagnosis. Radiation sickness relapse. Light form. Proximate dose. 1 to 1.5 GUI, whatever that is. Prognosis. Favorable. Treatment. Blood transfusion. 0.5K. Three times a week. Cali iodi iodi iodidum PO bed rest not going to surface for a year at least so says them this game's called Metro Exodus we're gonna leave somewhere Oof. hi guys Artyom just try to take better care of yourself huh? even if you find someone else out there they probably have their own troubles so what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Uh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Thanks, guys. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive at the moment. Hey, look, Metro 2034. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole Metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Maybe. Artyom, stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. I'm sorry. Is there anything to read over here? Doesn't look like it. Oh well, let's go wandering. Who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will save us. I don't know. What is this? Who could possibly have survived on the surface after all these years? The only real solution is New postcard. Oh. We call to evacuation. I guess but where would we go? Had the guys not made it inside? You think it would not now. Stop it! I know we all do stop ourselves here quite I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave us a scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you're all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you're are you the nurse's hospital, now, guys, huh? you just stop crowding him? Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, ah, name idiot. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like <laughs> so I brought something. And here we go. Yep, his name is Idiot. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. One week later. Well, I've gone back to the surface, apparently. And? More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes. And there's also those damn things calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? 
But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Press T to swap filter. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? Maybe. <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Oh, probably just as messy. Let's go scavenging. I had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Does it say, oh wife, are you getting are you getting in trouble without me? Hey, a postcard. Postcard two. Oh, let's say, come on now. They didn't just put these rooms here and and uh, not have anything hidden in them for me to pick up. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in terms here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. That's tempting fate. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Yes, gunfire will do that. Gunfire is very loud. You know, I wonder if those numbers popping up is the uh, just the autosave thing going off. Mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Yeah, I didn't bring enough bullets for this, I don't think. Limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. I 
I can activate photo mode. Now, why would I do something silly like that? There. I did photo I'll mode. To take the bridge to cross the railroad. This would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. is a train. A working, moving train. A train! A damn train on the surface! Where? Shit! What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train, too. Let's join them! Oops. Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the order commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. I mean, we aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. If we ever get back to the whole metro. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, this looks like a good place to wrap it up for this part, because it is about that time. So, that is where we're going to wrap it up for this part. So, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first installment of Metro Exodus. 
As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing, am I doing good, am I doing bad, if I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good, or if you just wish to inform me that I'm a terrible person because, well, mm, I went back upstairs out to the surface like I shouldn't have and took my wife with me and now we got captured by assholes and now I got shot and now they've taken her God knows where and it's all a mess. You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be amused by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NanoElite666, as I will use that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. I am NanoElite666, and I will see you all next time.